Well, Coach Tommy Lloyd and the 14th ranked Arizona Wildcats, they will be back in the old Pueblo tomorrow after spending the last five days in Hawaii for the Maui Invitational. It's very likely the Wildcats will jump into the top 10 after sweeping through the competition in Hawaii. And it was coming out party for Umar Balo, as everybody knows, who scored 30 points and grabbed 13 rebounds in the championship game. It is the third time Arizona has won the tournament in Hawaii. Let's go ahead and flashback, shall we? There's Arizona assistant coach Jason Gardner on the right when Arizona won the Maui Invitational back in the year 2000 under coach Lute Olson. And the Wildcats also took home the crown in Hawaii back in 2014. And now the Wildcats are bringing back the Maui Invitational Championship to the crazy AZ in 2022. Moving on, it is no secret NFL football and Thanksgiving go hand in hand. And historically here in Southern Arizona, one of the most popular teams in this region, even more than the Cardinals in the Phoenix area, is the Dallas Cowboys. They'd be taking on New York this afternoon. The Giants would be leading until Dak Prescott will find Dalton Schultz. That, folks, is a touchdown. The Cowboys take the lead for good. Dallas wins 28-13. to And in the NBC game you saw right here on KVOA, that's former Arizona standout Nick Folk. And guess what? He would bust out with four field goals on the night and two extra points, accounting for 14 total points for the Patriots. Still in the end, New England would fall just short. Final score, Minnesota 33, Patriots 26. Hey, as a proud Arizona alum, Nick Folk certainly knows the importance of tomorrow's Territorial Cup. That's for sure. Don't forget to tune in to Tucson today at 5 and 6 a.m. for full game previews and in-depth coverage. U of A, of course, hosting ASU in the heated and hate a rivalry in football. That's it for now. I'm Paul Sikala for News for Tucson Sports. Happy Thanksgiving to you.